Okay, now we're going to work on our tempo and our turn. Uh, we're going to borrow a few drills from our uh, trail foot series and uh, adapt them for our tempo. If you haven't watched the trail foot series, I recommend you watch it. Uh, it's not completely necessary, but it will help you understand what's going on here. So first, I want you to take your pipe and put it across your chest. What we're going to do is we're going to turn back. And remember, your back turn is a shoulder move. We're not using our hips or our feet in this. It's done with our shoulders. And what we're trying to do is think about someone turning at your shoulders and twisting you down into the ground. So what you'll feel is your foot, particularly your trail foot, will be twisting against the ground. So as you turn, you feel that trail foot twisting. And when you feel like you can't twist anymore, when your trail foot is saying, hey, I'm at my limit, I can't turn anymore, you turn back on your downswing. So you use your trail foot for your trigger. So it's turn and twist your trail foot. It's turn and twist. Now this is a tempo drill. So what you're trying to do is work with different speeds to get used to a speed on your back turn and your forward turn that you're comfortable with. Well, like I said, what I use for my trigger on when I should turn back down is my trail foot. I try to get a good coil as I go on the back turn. I really try to feel like I'm getting screwed right down on the ground. And to do that, you turn your shoulders in the back swing. So it's turn and twist. Or turn, feel your trail foot screaming at you, can't go anymore, and then down swing. Now remember, there's not a pause at the top. It may look like there's a pause, but I don't want you to pause. What's happening is, as I turn my shoulders, and my trail foot twists into the ground, when it can't twist anymore, I start turning it. And to overcome that backwards inertia takes a moment. So it looks like there's a pause there, but it's really not. It's that moment in time, that short moment when my trail foot is overcome the iner overcoming the inertia of my shoulders turning backwards. So practice with some different speeds. This is going to be your primary drill, this one with the pipe, to learn your speed. Uh, later we'll do it with a club, but right now do it with a pipe and learn your speed. And then get comfortable just with a good tempo, a good back and forth, no pause at the top. Now, whatever tempo is comfortable for you, that's fine. But experiment with different tempos. Do fast and slow and everything in between. See what you get. If you ever think you want to speed up your drill or speed up your turn, this is the drill you would use to do it. Just... Let's try one really fast. How fast do you think I can do it? So, you can do it fast, you can do it slow. Now, different golfers have different tempos. You'll have to find the right one for you. But this drill is go a good one for experimenting with your tempo and learning your tempo. But again, you want to turn back with your pipe. No stopping at the top, just turn back. And when you hit your trigger, turn down. Now for me, the trigger like I said, it's my trail foot. When it starts digging into the ground and can't turn anymore, then I turn forward. Okay, hey, we're gonna work on your tempo some more. This is exercise number two in your tempo drill. Remember in the last drill, we were standing up straight with the pipe and we were turning and turning back, establishing our tempo, learning how our tempo works and learning how to play with slow and fast tempos. This time, we're gonna do the same drill but we're going to do it with a club. And we're going to do it standing up. We're going to take those angles out. 
just put the club in front of you and then turn back and turn forward and what we're working on here is your tempo it's not your swing and remember how I do it is I turn back with my shoulders it's a shoulder turn you want to feel like your shoulders are turning and like they are screwing your trail foot right down into the ground you'll feel your trail foot with the spikes digging into the ground and when you get to the point that your trail foot is saying hey I can't turn anymore you're fully coiled then just take your trail foot and twist it and do your downturn so for me the trigger to do my downturn is where my trail foot is digging in the ground and it almost feels like it's right on the point it's going to slide out from under me if I turn anymore when I get to that point that's when I do my downturn maybe you go back and then forward now I know it looks like there's a pause at the top there's not do not pause at the top of your back swing what's happening is the momentum of my turn and I'm turning with my shoulders the momentum of my turn is continuing to go backwards and when I get to the point where I'm starting my downturn I'm twisting this foot I'm using my legs to initiate the downturn well it takes a moment for my leg action to overcome the, the backwards emotion or backwards inertia that was established when I turned backwards so it looks like I'm pausing I'm not what I'm really doing there is I'm turning my foot and it takes a moment to, for me to overcome that backwards inertia and turn it in the other direction so I'm stra straining stressing my leg trying to turn forward and once I overcome the inertia then I'll go forward now because of that what you'll feel at the top of your back turn you'll feel and you've heard people say it that they get to the top and then they start their downswing but it feels like their arms are being left behind that's because the momentum of your arms is still backwards now if you try to start your downswing with your arms you can't get that left behind feeling because you're using your arms but if you use your feet if you do a ground up swing if your swing comes from the ground up then you'll have that feeling at the top of your back swing that your arms are being left behind because your arms are still going backward their inertia is still going backward while your feet are turning you in the other direction so you should be on the lookout for getting that my arms are being left behind feeling Just. now experiment with different speeds on here remember this is a tempo drill you're trying to find your right tempo and you're experimenting with different tempos seeing which works best for you which one you like so do some fast do some slow do some in between uh, you're really experimenting with this finding the one that's right for you see if I can do a fast one lost my balance a little bit there but that's all right let's try it a little slow let's try that again I admit when I do it too slow it's kind of hard uh, fast is actually a little easier for me but whichever is right for you get that feeling now normally I tell you to do this a hundred times but really you should just be doing this over and over this is an experiment to see how the different tempos work for you and also to learn what your trigger is at the top of your backswing like I said my trigger is my trail foot when it can't twist anymore it's digging into the ground like it's being screwed into the ground when it's turned so much my foot saying hey I can't turn anymore that's when I use my foot to drive the downswing if you 
a little hint here if you watch my uh, trail foot work the move is i take this foot and i twist it take it twist the toe out twist it what happens when you keep your spikes in the ground though and twist it is it rotates your hips again tempo drill uh, experiment with some different speeds and just see what kind of tempo you can get to. Mm -hmm.